Hey, it's Nate from Navigator Bookkeeping here with the QuickBooks How To. So let's talk about class tracking. This is a advanced feature of QuickBooks that a lot of people probably have heard of, but maybe are a little scared off because it seems like it, you know, is going to take a lot of time or it's going to be an intense feature. And it can be, but we're going to start small and you're going to see the the helpful nature of classes because what they can do is they can really give you a lot of super helpful information as far as um, where expenses are being assigned to and, and how you want to track them. So first of all, let's just talk about how to turn classes on. Um, well, before I actually even get to that, let me just show you where I am. I'm over here on bookkeeping and then I'm in the transactions uh, screen and this is showing your bank feed of all your transactions. Um, your transaction just has vendor category, which is the account you're going to put it in and then a memo line. I'm telling you this because once we turn classes on, this is going to look different. So how to turn classes on, we're going to go to the gear icon. We're going to go to account and settings, and then we're going to go to the advanced tab here on the left. In the advanced tab, you're going to see a couple different things. We're in categories. We're going to click the pencil icon and we're going to turn classes on. Now it's going to ask me a couple different things. Number one, warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class. This is, you want to turn this on if you want every single transaction to have a class assigned to it. Um, depends on what you're kind of looking for, whether you want this. If you're really trying to go all in on classes, you probably would want to turn this on. Uh, but if you're just trying to kind of investigate classes, figure out if you want to use them, I would not click this because then you can leave some unassigned that maybe you don't need a class for. Um, the other piece is you can decide whether you want a class for the entire transaction or whether you want to be able to split a transaction into multiple classes. I like being able to split a transaction into multiple classes because if, for example, I have a payroll transaction and there's multiple people from multiple departments going in there that I want to set different classes to, I'm going to want to set each row to a different class. So uh, I like to have that set there. You can also turn locations on if you want. That is a whole separate beast. So let's not talk about that in this video. So I'm going to press save. Classes are now going to turn on. I'm going to press done. And now QuickBooks is going to kind of reset itself as the classes get in there. So now let's look at the same transaction we looked at before. Now you're going to notice that we have a class icon uh, box, I should say, here as well. And this is where you're going to actually add the class in. Now we don't have any classes in here right now. So if if this was a real company, we would need to start creating some right now. So let me just create one. I'm gonna call this uh, team one because I'm gonna use classes as, you know, I want to assign each team its share of expenses. So I'm gonna say team one, there we go. Um, once I confirm this, let me just make up an account for this office expenses. It's gonna go into its team. So let's look at another one. All right, this is a rental deposit refund. It doesn't matter. This is just a sample. But let's say this is also office expenses, but I want this class to be team two instead. This is going to be a new class. Okay, so now we have two classes. We're going to add that in. Before we even look at where those went, uh, let me show you how to look at all of your classes. We're going to go to the gear icon, and we're going to look at all lists here at the top. And then you're going to see our classes here. And this is where you can see the classes that you just created. We can edit these. We can add more right here. We can delete them. So this is where you can add new ones. But now that we've added uh, two transactions with classes in, let's look how we would actually look at those. Because how this is actually going to help you is looking at a financial statement that has the classes included in it. So where we would go is we would go to business overview and we'd go to reports. And then we're going to do the report profit and loss by class, which is right there. What we're going to do now is, let's just make sure this is going through 322. Good. What we're going to do now is you're going to see your classes up here. You're going to see team two. You're going to see not specified. Not specified means um, basically that um, there is not a class assigned to it. And then this column is going to show where your actual expense or your transaction went. So how you're going to see this now is you're going to see your normal profit and loss, but it's going to be broken out in columns by class. So right now I don't have very many transactions set up as classes, as you can see, but as I would kind of add more and more in over time, these columns would grow and I'd start seeing more and more by class, which then would split it out um, appropriately to kind of, you know, where I want each transaction to go. So it's really nice. It's a, a good way to kind of see everything. Um, split out specifically, like I said, you can split it out by, you know, maybe teams, you have multiple teams you want to split expenses by. Maybe it's by different departments um, or, you know, there's, there's a lot of different options, but classes are going to be really helpful if you have a higher volume of expenses and you're trying to kind of drill down into more specifically 
um, where where each expense is going and how it's used. So it is definitely an advanced feature. It definitely takes some time to get used to. So this is a very, very intro video to that. Um, there's a lot more we could talk about with this, but I just wanted to show at least how to set those up, how to add them in and how to edit your classes. So if you're trying to go past that, or if you have questions about that, uh, please reach out. Happy to talk more about classes, how to add them in and uh, how to use them to to get some really good insights into your business. Thanks.